staying in nursing homes in Illinois are afraid they won't see their loved ones for the holidays. Visitor restrictions have been in place for months and families are reaching their breaking point. WCI 3's Courtney Bunting has more. People shouldn't be spending almost nine months now in their room. And that's what the majority of them are doing. And after those months alone, many are hearing it'll be the same for the holidays. Carrie Leljadal's son has been in a facility for more than seven years. I've asked about who can we bring them home for Thanksgiving. And at no fault of theirs, their answer is, I don't know and probably not. The facilities themselves, their hands are tied. Even if they want to let most people in, they're not allowed. Resident Bruce Carmona has heard the same thing. My brother has a family and I enjoy spending time. It's the only family I have besides my son who lives in Texas. So not seeing him, spending that day with him, it's kind of uh, depressing a little bit for me. And he says his family members are willing to take all precautions necessary if it would help them get approval. I'm sure everybody here would do whatever it takes to uh, see their family as far as, you know, getting gowned up, doing tests. Uh, having letters of uh, negative results. On top of it all, Lel Jadal says it feels like all the restrictions they've been following for months aren't helping anyway. Nine months just proved keeping the families out is not protecting the residents. We cannot keep these residents alive to say we're keeping them alive. We've got to give them back their quality of life, their dignity, their respect. That was Courtney Bunting reporting. Both of the people WCIA spoke to are part of Caregivers for Compromise. They're advocating for each resident to have one essential caregiver. That would mean a loved one, not a nurse or CNA, who would come inside the facility. Right now, that has not been approved. A spokesperson at Clark Lindsay in Urbana says they aren't letting visitors inside, but they are letting Meadowbrook residents leave campus. If they do, they are educated about the risks associated with doing so, and they have to quarantine for 14 days once they